Hello underwater math explorers. We are learning about multiplying numbers by 10 or 100 today, and I'll teach you a cool trick too. Let's get started. To multiply by 10 or 100, we can use what we know about place value to help us. Starting from the right, we have our ones, tens, hundreds, and thousands place digits. Let's start with multiplying by 10. If we want to multiply 347 by 10, we will write it out in the appropriate place values first. When we multiply by 10, the value of each digit increases by one place value. Which means each digit moves one spot to the left. Then we place a zero at the end of our number, in the ones place. There we have it. 347 times 10 equals 3470. But wait, here's a quick trick you can use anytime you multiply a whole number by 10. Take the number you are multiplying and simply add one zero onto the end, because you are just multiplying by one, with a zero. Cool trick, am I right? Multiplying by 100 is very similar. Let's try 65 times 100. When we multiply any whole number by 100, the digits increase by two place values now. So we move each digit to the left twice. Then we add two zeros at the end of our number. 65 times 100 is 6500, or 6500. I bet you can guess our quick trick for 100. You got it. Simply add two zeros on the end of the number you are multiplying to 100. Brilliant. Let's put our tricks to use with these word problems. The kids from the Save the Sea Turtles Club spent the day picking up trash on the beach. There are 10 people in the club and each person picked up 70 pieces of trash. How many total pieces of trash were picked up? With 10 people in the club and 70 pieces of trash per person, we can write our multiplication problem out like this. Let's use our cool new 10 trick to solve this problem. 10 groups of 70 is just 70 with one zero on the end. Which makes 700. 700 pieces of trash were picked up from the beach that day. Wow, what a difference just 10 people can make. Let's try another. Chloe was determined to pick up 55 pieces of trash every day, for 100 days. How many total pieces of trash will she have picked up after those 100 days? Our problem is 100 times 55. How do I use the 100 trick? Genius. Add two zeros to the end of 55, to make 5500, or 5500 pieces of trash. Unbelievable Chloe. You are my hero. These cool tricks can help us solve any multiplication of 10 or 100 problems. Here are some uncool facts about trash in our ocean. 8 million tons of plastic gets into oceans every year. That's equivalent to dumping a garbage truck of plastic waste into the ocean every minute. Most trash gets into the ocean from litter on the beach or from boats, which is why picking up trash from the beach is so important. By 2050, there may be more plastic than fish in the ocean. You can make a difference in our mission to save our oceans. Use your math power for good.